<laughs> you know, for 2021, although it hasn't been a good year in other ways, but when it comes to motorcycles, 2021 has been epic. They've come out with some sick motorcycles, man. And I'm going to tell you guys five motorcycles that I think are awesome, and I'm going to tell you which one that I might get. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today i tell you guys whatever motorcycle you get make sure you're wearing the gear and if you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an auto tint shield my motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe i have links to all my gear in the description and comment section of my video oh that bread 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 baby this is a 2019 yz450fx custom supermoto by the way which is the most fun motorcycle I've ever owned and I've owned a lot of different bikes I tell you guys make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell symbol to get notified of my new videos there's so many sick motorcycles I've had a hard time picking which one but I think I, I know which one I might get but I tell you this guys that <laughs> I tell you it's not that I really want another motorcycle because this is all the motorcycle I need, baby. But anyways, number five, the Aprilia Tuono 6 RS660. I'm telling you, Aprilia, I, you know, I talk crap about Aprilia. I owned a 2017 Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory, which was an awesome bike, by the way. But I had some issues with it. But I'll tell you, they make some sick bikes. And they did it again. They came out with a mid-range bike with that uh, 660 Toronto. And that bike looks sick and it's pretty cool, man. It's tool for the streets. It's got 100 horsepower, 50 pounds feet of torque, but it's got that meat where you want it. Got that grunt down low. It's a parallel twin. So you know you're gonna get some grunt. But anyways, number four, the new Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory. It's sick, man. They listened to us that owned the previous gen, and they made some sick corrections on the bike, man. First off, they put LED headlights on, finally, for 2021. Uh, bike looks sick. Also, they made a more upright seating position now, so you're not in that in between race position and upright position anymore that's one reason why i got rid of it because it was a it was a very annoying position to be in i didn't like it it was weird it was like your race but you're upright but you're not either and your back still feels kind of weird on long trips i didn't like it so they they made a nice change there they have a fuel gauge on the bike now uh, man they made some sick changes and i tell you that v4 engine it's absolutely awesome. Oh, man. I loved I told you it was like a, a Moto GP bike. I loved it, man. It sounded so sick. And that thing was powerful. And uh, I believe it's got a little bit more grunt now, down low too, man. It's not more top end like it used to be, like kind of more, you know, strong mid range and top end. They had a little grunt to it as well, I believe. All I know is I see motor vloggers hooting and hollering about that bike. And for good reason, man. Number three is, of course, the Ducati V4 Street Fighter Black Stealth. And they made some changes for 2021. The bike's already sick, but it was more of a top-end bike before. But now, which that bike, by the way, it's got a V4 engine like the Tuono, but it's got 208 horsepower and 92 pounds feet of torque, I think. As where the Tuono is, I think, still at like 173 horsepower and 89 pounds feet of torque. But I will tell you this, guys, is that you don't need that much power. <laughs> but it's nice bragging rights to talk about that power, man. That's not what amazes me. What is awesome about it is that it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. It's the, it's you hands down the prettiest Street Fighter out there, guys. The sickest looking Street Fighter I think ever made. Ducati 
get it once again a more a really awesome bike but anyways we'll go to number two Kawasaki came out with a new supermoto the KLX 300 supermoto yes finally Japanese manufacturer added another supermoto to the mix and you don't just have the freaking DRs the old dinosaur but still cool DRZ 400 which is cool but carbureted I mean come on 2021 they still got the, the carburetor that's it should be banned now <laughs> uh, yeah I'm not about electronic rider aids or anything but I love my fuel injection baby <laughs> I love doing that KLX 300 now they say you can bust some wheelies up on there I mean it's got uh, it's got freaking what 33 horsepower and what 21 pounds feet of torque single cylinder it's it looks cool it only weighs I think 307 pounds wet and uh good looking bike it's got a low seat height a lower seat height compared to a lot of the other dual sports and supermotos by the way so for you shorties out there it's got a, a 33.2 inch seat height I believe fairly low so that gets you you look you shorties out there that get you in on a supermoto it's awesome um, it's light enough you can throw it around it's low maintenance unlike this bike it looks cool and uh, you can throw some dual sport wheels on there whenever you want to go off-road do some single track riding or something and it's only six thousand bucks it's cheap still man the only thing is is I wish they would have put an LED headlight on the bike I mean it's 2021 and you're still rocking with halogen seriously but other than that it looks sick man it, it looks like a really cool bike I've seen a lot of positive reviews on the bike um, that that's an excellent starter bike for you guys out there hey let's go down here and see what's going on around here yeah here riding no outlet streets let's see what's going on around here yeah baby we out here but I'm telling you guys supermoto life is the most life you've got to have I love all the different types of motorcycles, but I tell you, Supermoto is number one to me, and Dual Sport too. Dual Sports are awesome. Between the Dual Sport and the Supermoto, that's, I'm telling you, I, I believe everybody should have one of those in the garage. Seriously. Hey, man, get out of the room. <laughs> I'm going to be experiencing a lot of that at my new property. Uh, my 20 acres down south, baby. Yeah. We out here. Country life. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That brings me to number one, which is high up on my list. And it could be the bike I might get. I want to test ride one, but they won't let me test ride one. They said, you got to buy it, man. And that is the new 2021 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS. It's a beautiful bike, except for the headlights. I've always told you I hated Triumph's headlights and they just refuse, refuse to change them ugly headlights. They try to make it look prettier, but they they still ugly, man. I don't understand it. But if you look past the headlights, everywhere else is good looking on the bike. And the bikes, it's cheaper than some of the other bikes. I think it was like 18.5 or something like that. Uh, it's got it's got more power. Then the Tuano, the new Tuano, it's got 177 horsepower, 92 pounds feet of torque, and the Tuano for 2021 still got the 173 and 89, 173 horsepower and 89 pounds feet of torque, which is more than enough. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about horsepower, guys. Like I said, this is all the power I need out here on the streets. I don't need a liter bike power, but that RS1200 has got some grunt on it. It's got the mid-range. It's a man. That's, and it, I hear so many good things about the triple cylinder engine on the Triumphs, on the Street Triple and the Speed Triple, especially now with this new Speed Triple, and it's fairly lightweight too, man. I think, what is it, like 420 pounds or 26 pounds or 426 pounds or something like that? It's lightweight, 
It's got power, uh, more power than you'll ever need. It's, 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 it's got all the, the great features on it. See, that dude's moving, man. I'm telling you, you see that move? Movement like that, guys? Be ready. Be ready, man. That's defensive riding, one-on-one. If you want to see more defensive riding tips, I have a video on it. I'll include the video link in this video and in the description and comment section of this video. That'll help save your life out here. So you can keep riding out here and live to see another day. <laughs> List some other motorcycles maybe that I'm missing here that maybe you like. And which one of these motorcycles would you get? I want to hear what you guys got to have to say about it. And uh, I want to try to test ride some of these bikes I've called a lot of dealerships. And they're like, sorry, but I don't have a demo bike for you to ride. And you just can't ride a new motorcycle unless you buy it. Sorry, dude. So, I don't know. I can't test ride bikes, man. I don't know. I have to wait till like um, an event comes to town. And they always end up canceling it. So I always miss them every year. Um, and then they, you have to ride single file. They don't let you bring your motor vlog camera and all that crap. So what, what good is it if I can't share the experience with you guys? So now you see why I end up just buying a motorcycle instead of test riding at first. Because they don't, they don't let you test ride out here, man. It sucks. Maybe where I'm moving to, hopefully they got some dealerships out there. Maybe I can hook up with, do a sponsorship deal or something. They let me test ride their bikes and I, I give them a shout out. You know, like some of the motor vloggers out there. Damn, boy, we got some branch action out here. <laughs> but anyways, guys, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my All of My Motorcycle channel. And make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.